Immune thrombocytopenic purpura, or ITP, is a syndrome characterized by formation of autoantibodies against a person's own platelets, leading to their destruction in the spleen via phagocytosis, which ultimately results in reduced numbers of platelets in the circulation and subsequent clinical manifestations. The disease commonly occurs in children as acute ITP, usually following a viral infection. In addition, certain medications and vaccines can also trigger this condition. In adults, most cases of ITP are chronic and occur in middle-aged women. The exact cause of this antibody stimulation is not well understood. Children with ITP typically present with generalized purpura, as you can see in this picture. Other presenting features may include bruises following multiple trauma, oral hemorrhagic bulla, epistaxis or nose bleeding, gastrointestinal bleeding, conjunctival hemorrhage, and hematuria or blood in urine. It is important to know that splenomegaly is not seen in immune thrombocytopenic purpura. ITP is a diagnosis of exclusion, which means that there is no specific test to diagnose it. Complete blood count will show isolated thrombocytopenia, and other cell counts and parameters will be normal. However, to arrive at a diagnosis, other causes for thrombocytopenia should be excluded. Finally, most children with ITP do not require treatment because the condition resolves spontaneously within a few weeks. If treatment is required, oral corticosteroids are the first-line option in acute management. Second-line options include thrombopoietin receptor analogs, intravenous immunoglobulin, or IVIG, and splenectomy, or removal of the spleen.